I think that she felt trapped in the expectations of all these other people and she was a soul who actually tried to please. She always felt inadequate, she always wanted to do better and so gradually all these pressures built up from all points of the compass and I think it actually split her personality. Every hour of the day in Margot's life there were seven people wanting something of her and they would want it then, that afternoon. There would be messages stacking up saying, would you do this, would you do that? Oh, I haven't got seats for this. You promised that you'd do this for my niece. I mean, she had a very passing acquaintanceship with what might be termed as normal life. She'd been treated as something odd, special, and in many cases controlled from a very early age. She had the expectation of her mother, Lynette de Valois. She had the expectation of Frederick Ashton what was in it for them. I don't think that she ever really got free of that crushing burden. And I don't think she knew for a minute why she carried it. She was a driven creature. But anyone with a stroke of genius is a driven creature. These people are sacrificed. They really are sacrificial victims. They're put on the stone and they're pulverized.